from WNDU, your severe weather station, meteorologist Frank Waugh has your Storm Team 16 forecast. As we went to break, I mentioned there's good news and bad news. Right. The bad news, we'll get it out of the way. Uh, the snow that's coming down and the snow that's already out on the right. ground is going to still be blowing around. It's going to be drifting, and you actually experienced drifting last night. Yeah, I this mean, this was before we got all this extra snow. When we have blizzard conditions, and it doesn't happen all that often, but when it gets this severe, the station actually will arrange to have us stay at a hotel if we need to. And I took advantage of that because I live out in the country. Last night when I tried to take the four-wheel drive truck in, our road was drifted shut. Oh, that was at, at 7, seven o'clock last, last night. night, so I can only imagine. And those secondary roads, they're not even really getting to them yet. They have bigger things to worry yeah. about, and I understand. And we've, had, we've had a lot of reports come in back here, but we haven't had a lot of reports in terms of the actual drifting. And I think the reason is the sun hasn't come up yet. People are not venturing out no, yet. So and they really shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, and if you can, just stay inside. But if you are one of them that has to get out, you have to get right. to work, you come across some major drifts, send us an email, find us on Facebook. Let us know how they are out there. Those east-west roadways, especially out in the rural areas, going to be a real mess. Yeah. And it wouldn't surprise me. Some of those roads are going to be a mess for a couple days. There is also good news. Our blizzard warning has been dropped. Oh, the blizzard good. warning has been dropped. Snow going to be tapering off today. The winds, though, they're going to be back up 20 to 30 miles per hour at times. This hour, we have winds still gusting to 20 miles per hour. So still problematic out there. It still makes it feel extremely cold. The blizzard warnings, they are being trimmed. That winter storm warning also trimmed as well, but still a mess across much of the country. Your weather headlines today, this is the good news. The snow tapers off today. Now, we still could pick up a couple of inches today and it's still going to blow around the snow that's already on the ground it's going to be blowing as well the drifting that's going to continue and unfortunately some very 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 chilly air is on the way let's take a look at the radar picture this morning 16 doppler max showing this monster of a storm system snow extending there's still snow with this system falling in iowa illinois of course here in indiana michigan just about covered up off to the east seeing ice across Pennsylvania. So that's a problem. We can zoom in, give you a closer look. If you're planning your commute to work this morning, if you have to go, just allow lots of extra time over the last two hours. Snow building back in the heaviest snow off to our west, but that's all tracking in our direction. We can zoom right down to the street level. We head out to Ironwood and 23. That is where Catherine Rufner is standing by live. Catherine, what are you seeing out there right now? Radar showing a little bit of light snow. Hey Frank, that's what we're seeing right now and it's not too bad. We do have some of that wind still blowing it kind of sideways. So uh, that's of course where we got all the drifting snow and that's what caused a lot of problems for me this morning when I was trying to get into work. So if you can avoid going anywhere today, I would definitely suggest staying home. My little uh, um, four-door car got stuck, very, very stuck. So if you can stay home, I would recommend it. You can see um, a lot of businesses obviously still closed just because it's so early, but we've been getting reports of hundreds of businesses that are closing all across the area for the day. So good idea to get on our website and check out. Just make sure you still have work before you try venturing out. It would be kind of uh, disappointing to spend all the work trying to get there and you could have stayed home to begin with, Frank. Thanks, Catherine. The roads out there are snow packed, and that's the condition across much of Michiana. If they're not snow packed, they're drifted shut. So just take it easy. We head up to Nile, 17 degrees on a the thermometer. You notice traffic, it is moving. But as you would expect, it is moving extremely slow this morning. We head out to the airport. You can see the snow blowing there in the light. 19 degrees, winds gusting to 21. That makes it feel more like 7 degrees outside. So a very bitter start to your Wednesday. Take it easy if you do have to go out there and shovel off that sidewalk. Here are the current temperatures. Pretty much everybody in the upper teens, low 20s. But to add that insult to injury, you factor in the wind out there. It feels more like 1 up in Dewajak, 7 in South Bend, 5 in North Judge. And off to the south, a little bit warmer. It feels like 12 as you head down towards Rochester, 13 in Warsaw. Here's a satellite and radar picture. There is the massive snow that moved through last night. Also getting reports of a wintry mix farther to the south. Now this here is just kind of the tail end of this entire system. We're tracking it with 16 future track to give you an idea of what to expect through the remainder of your day. The whole system 
it is on the way out of here. We pick up future track at 7 a.m. Notice the heavy snow up across Michigan. As this slides out of our backyard, we are going to see a little bit, a little bit of lake effect snow behind this. Fairly minimal by 10 o'clock. That is all but disappeared. May still see a few flurries flying by tomorrow morning breaks in the clouds. That means frigid temperatures here in Michigan throughout the day. Tomorrow sunshine, but don't be fooled. It's not exactly going to be a warm one. 22 degrees for your high today. Off and on light snow. Winds picking up overnight tonight. We drop it all the way down to four degrees and your high tomorrow. Despite the sunshine, only near 12 degrees. Friday morning, three below 16 for your high on Friday. A couple dig out days on Thursday and Friday. Good chance to get out there and clean off that sidewalk. Light snow to moderate snow over the weekend and into early next week. Temperatures at least moving up to around 30 on Sunday. You don't clean off the driveway, but clean the inside of the house, too. I'm, I'm hoping my kids <laughs> got the message. Before I left last night, I said, you know, girls, you're going to be home tomorrow. It would be a good idea to have the house clean. That's what my, my parents always home. did. I always had a list of things to do when school <laughs> got canceled. The snow what day? happened to playing in the snow? Yeah, clean up day inside, too. Good idea. <laughs> we have a much more ahead on this morning edition of 16 Morning News. In fact,